The Straw Hat Pirates were completely defeated by Admiral Kizaru and blown away by Kuma, at this time on Sabauda Island. Although the Flying Fish Pirates did not know where the members of the Straw Hats were blown away, but they still tried to protect the Sunny Ship from danger and waited for Rayleigh to arrive. Kami's team is worried about Luffy and his teammates. At this time, the rubber guy Luffy is currently floating in the sky at high speed. He keeps calling out the names of his teammates in helplessness. Luffy doesn't know that his teammates are also hovering like him to some place. The next day, Luffy fell on a certain island. This concussion woke Luffy up. He didn't understand what was happening, but what to do now was to immediately return to Sabaud Island. Luffy was happy to find Rayleigh's Viver card. He immediately moved according to its directions to go to Sabao D Island. Because he was so excited, Luffy rushed straight into the cliff in front of him. Luffy used his fists to create his own path, but his current strength was not enough. He began to feel hungry, but Sanji was not here right now. Fortunately, there was a giant wild boar nearby, so this huge animal has become a hearty meal for the rubber guy. Luffy sees mushrooms growing around him, and begins to take an interest in them. He eats one after another, without knowing that there are poisonous mushrooms among them. And soon a group of female inhabitants of the island discover Luffy in a state of mushrooms growing all over his body and unconscious. They find out that he has eaten the wrong poisonous mushroom. If not treated quickly, it will be life-threatening. Three girls think Luffy is a member of the village, so they decide to bring Luffy back to the village. Here. A group of curious women come to see how to cure Luffy. The girls started to spit out the mushrooms and then used fire to burn the roots that grew on Luffy's body. Realizing that Luffy had been seriously injured from the previous battle, so they took him into the river to bathe him. The fat girl accidentally touched Luffy's precious possessions, thought it was a leftover mushroom, so they tried to pull that mushroom. However, this mushroom couldn't be pulled out, so the girls started to get confused. At this time, an old lady named Lee On appeared and asked what happened. She was shocked to see Luffy and confirmed that he was a man. This startled and surprised everyone. It turned out that this is the legendary women's island. The whole island has only women. Any man who sets foot in this place will have to die. This island is known as Amazon Lily and is also inhabited by female warriors of the Kuya tribe. Every job from heavy to light is done by women. They are not only beautiful, but also incredibly strong. At this time, Luffy has been sent to the prison camp for illegally breaking into this kingdom. When he wakes up, he is surrounded by countless girls. They are curious because for the first time they see the man, Luffy takes his straw hat from the fat girl, and at the same time he wonders why he is in this place. Luffy suddenly realized that he didn't have a piece of cloth covering his body. The girls asked him what the two marbles on his middle leg were. Luffy innocently said it was pure gold that made them feel dazzled. One of them even innocently asked to borrow it to see. A girl gives Luffy a new set of clothes, but when Luffy puts it on, he feels very disappointed because the clothes look extremely feminine. Luffy is angry that his clothes have been changed. Immediately, the girls return to their fighting state and raise their bows aimed at him. They think Luffy is too rude because he despises their kindness. Luffy couldn't understand what was going on. Later, they explained that Luffy was taken to Women's Island due to his ingestion of poisonous mushrooms, so he almost lost his life, but he was saved by the female warriors here. The girls thought that harboring a man was unacceptable, which would make the Snake Princess angry. Then a rain of arrows is fired to execute Luffy. Luffy quickly destroys the ceiling to escape those powerful attacks. However, he is knocked to the ground by a big girl. Luffy remembers that Rayleigh's Viver card is stored in his old clothes, so Luffy kidnaps a nearby girl for interrogation. Luffy quickly escapes the chase and runs into the forest. Due to being a rubber man, so when he fell to unbelievable heights, he still wasn't injured. This girl was Margaret, who saved Luffy's life when he ingested a poisonous mushroom. She thought Luffy was a bad guy, so she tried to take precautions. Luffy asks about the Viver card in his old clothes, and luckily Margaret is the one who keeps it. He is happy for it and thanks the female warrior for helping him. 
Then Luffy tells Margaret about the reason he was blown here. Margaret says that the female warriors here are all members of the Kuya Pirates, and the leader is Princess Boa Hancock, the most beautiful woman in the world. At this time, Princess Boa Hancock's ship has returned. The female warriors become chaotic and rush into the forest to track down Luffy. After removing the flowers on his shirt, Luffy decides to set sail to return to Sabaudi Island to reunite with his comrades. He vowed that he would defeat the people who had put him in this situation. Luffy borrows Margaret a boat, but she doesn't have it. Amazon Lily is located in the quiet belt where Sea King creatures live. Any ship that passes through this place will be attacked and destroyed by these creatures. Only the Snake Queen's ship, pulled by two fierce sea lizards, can pass through this place. There was no other way. Luffy built a wooden raft himself. However, it was easily submerged due to being too sketchy. Luffy sank into the sea, and luckily he was saved by Margaret again. She didn't want to get into trouble when she appeared friendly to Luffy, so Margaret raises her bow to attack Luffy. The arrows that were shot were extremely powerful. Luffy, if he didn't dodge in time, he would be seriously hurt. Luffy didn't understand why it could be so powerful. Margaret explained that these arrows had been combined with hockey, so it was very normal for them to become powerful. At this time, the Kuya female warriors had arrived at this place. Seeing this, Luffy quickly ran away. On the other side of the island, a naval ship was approaching the ship of the Kuya pirates. The commander of this naval ship was Vice, Admiral Momonga. He came here to meet the pirate queen Boa Hancock to announce the time and place of the Fist of Fire, Ace Judgment, and summoned Boa Hancock to the naval headquarters to participate in the confrontation with the Whitebeard pirates because Boa Hancock was one of the seven members of the Shichibukai system. Momonga asks Hancock to come otherwise, her Shichibukai title will be revoked. At this time, the Pirate Queen was also revealed. This is really a wonderful beauty who deserves to be the most beautiful woman in the world. Accompanied by Hancock is her two sisters named Marigold and Sandersonia. Hancock had no intention of participating in this war, and she even wanted to rob all the cargo on Momonga's naval ship. The Navy soldiers were so enamored with Hancock that they couldn't control their behavior, causing Momonga a lot of headaches. Although extremely beautiful, Boa Hancock is extremely stubborn. She hated the world government, so she would never help them fight the Whitebeard pirates. Every word Hancock uttered made both men and women fascinated, and then the female pirate stretched out her hand to form a heart shape and emitted a strange flow of energy. The energy emitted from the move petrified the entire navy instantly. Momonga had to stab his hand with a knife, using the pain to avoid hypnosis and petrification by that energy. Shortly afterwards, Hancock left in the helplessness of Vice Admiral Momonga. Momonga says that he will still wait here until the Pirate Queen changes her mind. Boa Hancock returns in the joy of the inhabitants of the Amazon Lily. It can be said that she is a great idol in their hearts. On the contrary, Boa Hancock is quite disrespectful to her people. The old lady Leon comes to find Hancock and asks her to obey the orders of the world government by the Amazon Lily protected by the title of Shichibukai of Hancock. If this title is revoked, danger will come to Amazon Lily. Boa Hancock ignored those words and ordered Mrs. Leon to be chased away. Not only that, she also grabbed the old lady's head and threw the old lady out the window. Fortunately, Mrs. Leon had a nimble body, so she was not injured. It was time for the Pirate Queen to take a bath. Everyone on the island immediately stopped working and went outside. A series of barriers were erected around the palace. No one was allowed inside. There were rumors that the Hancock sisters had defeated the snake goddess, but they were cursed by the curse. When the Hancock sisters bathed, a Lee one who saw their bodies, those people would immediately be petrified and die instantly. At this time, Luffy was being pursued by fierce female warriors. He returned to the castle. The only way to return to Sabaudi Island was to borrow the kingdom's boat, so he had the simple thought that he just needed to find the head of this kingdom and borrow their boat. Luffy jumps down to the tallest building where Boa Hancock is bathing. The female warriors discover that Luffy has returned to the village and immediately rush back into the village. 
due to the strong jump so the roof was knocked down. Luffy fell straight into the hot tub. He even saw Boa Hancock in a state of not wearing anything like a pupa. Luffy saw the symbol on Hancock's body which was extremely familiar, but he didn't remember where he saw it. This made Hancock worried and angry. Seeing the Pirate Queen's back causing Luffy to face death, Hancock continues to emit a stream of heart-shaped energy that shoots towards the rubber guy. Luffy thinks that this energy flow is Foxy's slow-down move, so he seems scared, but nothing happens. Hancock emitted this energy flow again, but Luffy still didn't petrify. The four of them were confused and didn't understand what was happening. This was the first time a Lee One had not been petrified, even when he saw Hancock wearing nothing. Luffy was about to flee, but he was hit, so he fell free. As a result, he was tied up and taken to be executed here. The Pirate Queen would decide the fate of the illegal intruder. All the inhabitants of the island filled the stands to monitor the situation. Hancock interrogates Luffy about how he broke into the kingdom. Luffy tries to explain that he was blown to this place by accident and that he just wants to borrow a boat to return. Luffy's guilt is decided. Luffy is officially sentenced to death. Suddenly, the girl Margaret walked over and confirmed that what Luffy said was absolutely true, and the other two girls followed suit. They explained to Hancock that they had brought Luffy back to the village when he was poisoned. Seeing that, the pirate queen slowly walked down the ring and immediately she emitted energy into these three girls, so they are completely petrified. Luffy panicked and didn't understand what was going on. Then Hancock ordered the release of Bikuza. It was a big, fierce black panther, and at the same time it was extremely hungry. The snakes that tied Luffy were scared and ran away, leaving him alone to confront the beast. The surrounding audience cheers for the black panther to deal with Luffy. They don't care or worry about the three petrified girls, which makes Luffy's anger rise. As soon as the leopard rushes in, he throws a powerful punch that causes the monster to be disfigured and blown into the stands and unconscious, which surprises everyone. Luffy curses those around him for abandoning his teammates. Boa Hancock thought that he had done nothing wrong because she was beautiful, so she had the right to do so. Luffy felt really disgusted the Pirate Queen over and over again. He surprised and embarrassed Hancock. The surrounding audience shouted to execute Luffy. This time it was Hancock's two sisters who were going to battle. Sandersonia and Marigold both possess the ability of the Zoan Devil Fruit, which is the ability to transform a King Cobra and a Giant Python. Luffy alone brought the three stone statues to safety and then was ready to join the battle. The battle began right after. Marigold, with the sword in her hand, constantly attacked and overwhelmed Luffy. These moves were extremely powerful. Not only that, she could also spit out poison. This is quite dangerous if Luffy does not dodge in time. He responded with a powerful kick, but was knocked back. Then Luffy was also stabbed and blown away. Even though Luffy was rubber, but he felt quite painful. Suddenly, Sandersonia's tail wrapped around Luffy. Then she squeezed Luffy so tightly that he looked extremely pathetic. Sandersonia realizes that Luffy is quite strong, but he doesn't know how to use hockey, so Luffy can't win. Luffy launches a kick to escape, but Sandersonia reads his attack and dodges easily. Then she counterattacked Luffy, causing him to fall to the floor, thanks to which he escaped control and unleashed a series of punches attacking Sandersonia. However, the opponent avoided it all thanks to Haki's observation. Then they attacked Luffy flying out of the ring, and he almost had to offer his butt to the spikes. Hancock thinks the rubber guy is too mediocre, but then she is cursed by him, causing her to shut up again. Hancock orders Luffy's immediate execution in a rage. Sandersonia wraps around the Margaret Stone statue to tease Luffy. He wants to stop them, but he is tied up by Marigold. Seeing that the people who had saved him were in danger, Luffy's rage had reached its peak. Luffy shouted in anger, asking the opponent to stop immediately. A stream of murderous chi spread throughout the arena, causing a series of spectators to instantly lose consciousness. Sandersonia and Marigold stood like soulless people for a long time, after which they also had to let go of the statue. It's the Conqueror's Hockey. 
Out of one million people, there is only one who possesses this power, which means that Luffy is the chosen one. Although Boa Hancock also has this type of hockey, she is still surprised that an ordinary person like Luffy can possess it. And then it's time to fight seriously. Luffy uses Gear Second, which causes his body to heat up and emit smoke. Sandersonia turned her hair into a mythical eight-headed snake to attack Luffy, this time even though she possessed observation hockey, but she couldn't keep up with the speed of the gear second. Luffy immediately rushed to wrap around her opponent's neck and then wrestled Sandersonia to the floor. Seeing her sister being knocked out, Marigold slashes at Luffy repeatedly, but she is unable to accurately attack Luffy. She is too confident in her armed hockey so Marigold stands still to catch Luffy's attack, as a result of which she is knocked off the ring and almost loses. Hancock frowned because her two sisters couldn't take down Luffy. They were afraid that the eldest sister would scold, so Marigold wrapped fire around her and turned her hair into a fire snake. Sandersonia did the same thing, and they attacked Luffy together. Luffy tried to create a series of kicks to destroy the snake hair. Then he attacked the abdomen of two opponents with great force. The two opponents lost their balance. They fell on each other and were trapped because their tails were also quickly tied up by Luffy. Due to the burning of her body, Sandersonia fell towards the spikes, but she quickly clung to the wall. Luffy jumps over and hugs his opponent. They think Luffy is about to throw a finishing blow, but he is trying to protect his opponent because he knows that the three Hancock sisters don't want a Lee one to see the symbol behind their backs. So he hugs his opponents so that the symbol on their backs is not exposed. Hancock immediately stopped the duel and ordered everyone to evacuate urgently. Sandersonia still didn't understand why Luffy was protecting him. He replied that it had nothing to do with the match. Hancock was stunned and then started crying. Luffy assumed that his next opponent was Boa Hancock, but she had no interest in fighting anymore. Luffy begged Hancock to turn the other three girls back to normal. Hancock wanted to test Luffy's heart again. She gave him two choices, that is, she would give him a boat to return to Sol, Baudi Island, or neutralize her powers to the three girls. He was only given a choice of one out of two. Luffy did not hesitate and chose the choice to save the lives of the three girls which surprised the three Hancock sisters. Thanks to Luffy's assertiveness, those three girls were saved. On the other hand, Luffy was taken to the palace and to Hancock's private room. After waiting for a while, he was called inside. In front of him was a beautiful beauty without a piece of cloth covering his body. But Luffy didn't have the slightest feeling when he saw this. He innocently thought that there was food here. Hancock pulled his hair to reveal a strange red symbol and asked Luffy if he knew what it was. Earlier, he had seen a symbol on Hacky's forehead, and it was quite similar to this symbol. Mrs. Lee on walked in and introduced that Luffy was the one who risked his life to punch the celestial dragons on Sawbaud Island not long ago. This surprised the three Hancock sisters again. Hancock burst into tears, explaining that the symbol on her three sisters' backs was the slave mark that the celestial dragons had inflicted. The three Hancock sisters had been taken away by these people at a very young age, and terrible memories of the past appeared that made them suffer. Fortunately, not long after, a mermaid hero named Fisher Tiger unilaterally attacked the Holy Land to rescue the slaves. The three Boa Hancock sisters escape and are brought back to the Amazon Lily by Grandma Lee on to be raised. Fisher Tiger forms a group of sun pirates to hide the slave symbols. If Luffy doesn't cover up for Sandersonia, the secret will be exposed, and they will be banished from the Amazon Lily. Luffy states that he also hates the Celestial Dragons, which makes Hancock extremely appreciative and rewards him with a ship for him to use as he pleases, much to Luffy's delight. That evening, a hearty meal was served to entertain the distinguished guests. The female warriors began to sympathize and gradually became closer to Luffy. They liked Luffy's elasticity very much, so they constantly groped him. Feeling disturbed, Luffy runs away from the party. Luffy goes to Old Lady Leon's place to hide. He is surprised to learn that Hancock is also a Shichibukai. Most unexpectedly, the war between the Navy and the Whitebeard Pirates is about to take place.
especially Ace, who was publicly executed, received the news of this lightning strike. Luffy was shocked and surprised. Ace is currently imprisoned in Impel Down Prison. It will take a week to get there. If Luffy takes the Navy ship there, it will be much faster. It will only take three days. Luffy really wants to rescue his brother, so he has to temporarily put aside returning to Sawbound Island to reunite with his comrades. If Hancock agrees to the summons, he can accompany Hancock to impel down by Navy ship. Luffy decides to run to beg Hancock to help him. However, at this time, the Pirate Queen suffers from a strange illness, his whole body burning in pain. Mrs. Leon approached Hancock to see how she was doing. And Mrs. Leon knew what this disease was, knew that Luffy had come here. Hancock did not mind the pain and welcomed him. The two of them talked privately about Luffy wanting Hancock to agree to the summons to come to impel down with him. Surprisingly, Hancock immediately agreed. It turns out that Hancock has a love sickness, and she fell in love with Luffy. And now Hancock can't go against the words of her heart. And after making preparations, she and Luffy set off for Impel Down. At this time, all the islanders gathered to say goodbye to them. Luffy hides under Hancock's cloak and then steps aboard the Navy ship, which will head to Impel Down, where the Fist of Fire, Ace, is being held. Will Luffy be able to rescue his brother? Stay tuned for my new video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. If you feel like it's very good, go to my channel to watch more good episodes. Thank you and see you soon.